Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking at how to regrow rosemary from a cutting. I'm using a package that I purchased at Walmart. There's no dates on this package, so I'm not sure when this plant was harvested. The sooner you're able to begin propagating after taking a cutting, the more likely you are to successfully regrow a plant. It looks like I've got two separate plants here in this package. However, both of these stems have been snapped in half, so I'm going to completely separate them and give myself four cuttings to start this project. To prepare our cuttings, we're going to want to remove leaves from the bottom of the stem. Any leaves that are submerged in water during propagation will begin to rot and ultimately harm the plant. I'm going to clear an inch and a half or so from the bottom of this stem and then I'm going to recut the bottom of this stem so I have a nice clean cut to start propagating with. With our cuttings prepared, we're going to move them into a container where they've got access to some water. We want to make sure our cuttings can stay straight up and that the leaves at the top will have access to sunlight. This container here looks a bit too big. Something about the size of a shot glass is going to work well for small cuttings. You're going to get about an inch of water and be able to keep your plants upright. Now that our plants are all set up, we want to put them in front of a window. Indirect sunlight is best, but direct sunlight is going to be helpful for small periods throughout the day. Monitor your plant to make sure it's not getting too dried out. You'll need to change out your water every couple of days, or at the very least, top it up. We rejoin these plants on day number 13, and as you can see, both of these stems here are developing small roots. They've both got multiple roots beginning to emerge, although they are still quite small. Our second set of stems is in a similar position. Both of them have roots emerging at this time. And overall, these plants look quite healthy. We rejoin these plants on day number 21, and they are ready to be repotted. I typically wait for roots to be an inch to an inch and a half long, with multiple roots of that length, before I repot a plant, be it in soil or into a hydroponic setup. I like to spread roots out before putting the plant in a net cup, and when possible, I will help feed those roots through the slits of the net cup. I'm using clay pebbles to fill in the empty space around my plant and help keep it upright. I'm going to be growing these rosemary plants in some recycled jars and using a basic micro grow bloom nutrient solution to do so. We'll want to be extra careful to ensure that our plant roots will have access to the water and nutrients in our reservoir. I find it's best to use an empty net cup and ensure that the water levels rise above the bottom of that net cup. At this point, our plants are ready for full light exposure, be it under your grow lights or in front of a bright window, like the one you see here. After two weeks in the light and sun, these plants are looking really good and definitely have started to extend themselves and grow. We've got great coloration, these plants look healthy, and there's new leaves and stem extension happening on both plants. Now one thing to note is that these plants both have a clear primary stem. You can see this plant on the left is growing straight up. That said, there are multiple side branches coming out of the lower nodes on these plants, although these branches remain quite small. To stop this plant from growing straight upwards and encourage it to bush out, I'll be topping it. Topping is a process of cutting the top of that main stem, which will then encourage the plant to grow through those side branches as opposed to straight upwards. You can see at the very top where I've cut this plant, there are already two small branches emerging here, and the plant will begin to focus on these side branches as opposed to that main stem. I decided to top both of these plants. And wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse into the root systems that are developing here. Both of these root systems look good and are extending rapidly. I would expect these plants to start having quick vegetative growth now that these root systems are established. Here we are at the end of week six. These plants are really starting to get bushy. 
and you can see that these side branches have really started to extend themselves as a result of topping these plants. This sideways growth would continue. You can see that these plants now look like small balls as opposed to that Christmas tree shape that we saw initially. I've already begun harvesting small branches either to propagate again for a new plant or to use in food. By week number 10, I probably had five to six times the amount of rosemary that I initially purchased back at Walmart. Unfortunately, I was traveling for a few weeks and when I came back, my plants did not look good. They looked super dried out, but these reservoirs were still full of water. The root systems on both these plants have turned completely black. This isn't something I've seen before and I'm not too sure why it happened. Maybe if I had been around, this is something I would have been able to prevent. While I was around, these plants were very easy to care for and regrow. I was easily able to turn those initial stems into multiple harvests and really get good value out of that purchase. I would expect that we're able to keep propagating new plants over and over, like we can with other herbs, to do this process indefinitely. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, happy harvesting!